Gamers, today's video is very simple. I am going to be using and ranking every single healer brawler inside of Brawl Star. Who do I count as a healer? To me, brawlers like Poco who are classified as a support and also have big heals count as a healer. Jean with a heal star power doesn't count. That's cringe. Anybody who is supposed to be healing for the majority of the match is a healer in my opinion. So we're starting with Poco. Whoever has the best stats at the end of a match wins and also winning the match adds bonus points. Let's go. So every time I do this, I'm going to try to use their biggest healing build. So I have focus healing gadget, I have the plus one gadget, and I have the healing star power. So we got everything. I'm going to try to heal as much as possible. The only problem here is I do not have a very aggro team comp. Wait, Mandy, hold on. I got you. You're good. My other teammate died. RIP. Here we go. Mandy is full HP. Uh-oh. Why have I been stolen? Let's get some big heals going. Oh, yeah. Dude, these guys are not going to be able to hurt my team. This is actually sick. Watch out, Mandy. Oh, you're you're a god. Oh, Shelly, what were you just supering? I'm so lost. Wait, B, no. B, let me heal you. I got you, buddy. I'm not playing this game correctly at all, but I don't care. I'm just healing. Dude, my team is just sitting in the back lines shooting from Narnia. Like, how am I supposed to get anything done here? This sucks. This is actually just a bad team comp. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, this one is just RIP, bro. Like, we have the least aggro team. That was actually just so cringe. But how much healing did we get? Well, we'll never know because I did more damage than the rest of my team. Now we got Pam. And hey, we actually have a team comp. All right. This might work right now, gamers. Maybe we can actually play Brawl Stars. That would be so sick. Buzz, you're dead. Yep. I forgot what build I put on, but I do know I have the healing, uh, what is it called? Gear. So, Brock! I need this Brock to actually go into my healing turret so then I can heal him because, you know, it's kind of my whole thing is healing. If you didn't know, I I'm kind of a healer. No, my healing turret. What the freak, bro? Dude, you better not be diffing my whole team right now. All right. I should probably just be the gem carrier every match. I kind of forgot about that in the Poco match. I definitely can be the gem carrier. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that now. I'm gonna be doing my job. Not only am I a healer, but I am the carrier. I'm literally carrying the match. Look at that, look at that full heal to Brock. All right, Buzz, you think you're going somewhere, but you're actually not? Where is he? Brock, you know where he is, get him, he's trapped. Uh oh, he's on me. Brock, watch out, watch out, he's here. Run! Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Wait, wait, let me get, let me get the heals. Big heals, huge heals. All right, I'm doing more than just healing this match. I'm actually just carrying. That was way better than the Poco match. Oh yeah, we got star player. We got the most kills, the most damage. I don't even get to see how much I healed, but I have a feeling we're not going to see that much today because if I'm not carrying, then I'm not going to be able to do anything. Legendary. Bruh, how does this keep happening on recording? Oh, that's cringe. Man, there are not very many healers in this game. You know what? I guess Gus could count, even though nobody ever picks up his ghost. I feel like Gus is overall pretty underrated brawler, so hopefully do pretty good here. Like, Gus actually does decent damage, man. I think I have the incorrect star power for this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that my teammate's not even gonna pick up the ghost that I leave anyways, so I don't think it matters too much. I have six gems. We are literally the best gem carrier. This is kind of GG already. Get the shielded. There we go. Look at me being a support. I'm crazy with it. Guys, guys, please. I don't know if it's counterintuitive to give a shield to my brawler who has 10,000 health, but if I got to do it, then I will. Uh, I'm actually going to do it to myself because I'm going to die here. <sighs> no, please. No, not the team wipe. Ash, you do so much damage. Get the Jesse. Dude, this Mortis will not leave me alone. No way. You're insane, Buzz. He actually just sacrificed himself for the greater good. I have a ghost over there, but I can't even use it. That's a problem with Gus. I wish I could put the ghost wherever I want. No way. Not like this. Holy moly. Get shielded, please. You have so much health. You are so tanky. And there it is. GG, Gus, the carry. I feel like the Ash kind of carried that one, actually. Oh my god, yeah. He carried way harder than I thought he did, though. Listen, it's all in the Gus shields. I may have only used it on him once, but still. I really hope I'm not missing anybody, but it really seems like there are not very many, like, dedicated healers in this game. Alright, we're playing Byron, so my plan here is to do the Poco and just kind of heal people. But I guess, I guess, I'll pick up the gems because that's my job. Here, Meg, get, get healed. Yeah, outdo the Willow damage. That's what we like to see. Ouch. Kill the dynamite? Okay, Byron is actually OP. No bow. No bow. Wait, the melody's dead. 
Meg, let me heal you. This Willow is not going to let me get these gems. Wait, you're not healing. You are never healing for the rest of your life. Not only can I heal my allies, but I can get rid of the enemy's healing. Guys, we got a Melody coming in. <laughs> That's really not good. Uh-oh, Meg. Be careful. Oh, no, this, this Melody's dead. What am I talking about? Meg, here. Huge. The Melody's here. Watch out. Oh, my God. That's so scary. If she gets anywhere near me for, like, half a second, it's just Jover. Okay, there. I hit the Melody twice. I'm actually massive. Willow's dead. Ooh, that's huge. Melody, you're not doing this. Nope, you're not doing this. How? I've used every heal possible and she still obliterates me. Delete this brawler. It's all right. We are up good. We have all the gems. We got countdown. Bo, you need to live. You need to live. Oh my god. I'm doing the support thing. It doesn't matter because Melody is busted. The Willow just controlled my brawler and she's bringing them back to spawn. I need to heal you. Yes. Yes. Oh, I love that. You are full HP. We love this game. Melody, you are toast. Oh my god, I just obliterated their whole team. Honestly, that was kind of a carry. Let me see the star player there. Oh yeah, no, that was great. I loved that. We actually got the non-toxic kudo as well. That's rare. Okay, well, we got Kit, and I brought the completely incorrect build, but hopefully we can do some decent healing here. We also have Doug. I forgot this guy existed. I have to play that guy as well. My idea here is to just get as many supers as possible and uh, sit on my team all game. All right, Doug, here I come. We're healing you. Double heals. So many heals. Kill her. Yes. No. I guess cardboard box isn't the worst because I need my super to even get heals in the first place. I'll be taking two of these. And Doug, here we go. Okay. Nah, dude, Kit's actually kind of crazy. I can't believe I whiffed a gain. It's been too long since I've played this Brawler. I forgot everything he can do. And I've literally landed one of three different supers. <laughs> it's so dumb. I'm so bad with Kit now. Well, we still won the match, though. I did not feel very good. The Doug definitely did a lot of healing. This time, we're playing Doug, but I actually brought the healing build. I have the 100% glitch. I wonder why this glitch isn't fixable. Because it's been in the game for so long that I feel like at this point they don't know what to do about it. Or just like cannot fix it. Now my screen is just black. I can't even like open the- Hey! Hi Supercell! No way. We're in the match, but we're losing. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna start healing now. I got you, buddy. Don't even worry about it. I really have to go hard with the heals on this match. Come here, Stu. Got you, buddy. This sucks. You need heals? These heals are actually kind of massive. Like, that's what makes Doug kind of decent still. Got you, I got you. No, you're fine, you're fine. I need to... Go. The Janet ran away from my double heal gadget. Come here. Oh my god. Please. No way. <laughs> GG. Oh, it's so over for them. I just clutched up on the Daryl who rolled in with 15 health for some reason. That guy I just threw so hard. Oh yeah, I may be low, but... It that was actually way too close. I was gonna say, but it doesn't matter. And that Gene was about to like literally slap me across the face with his meaty hand. I joined late and I still got 65,000 healing. Healing wise, I think Doug might be the best one. All right, this list is gonna be entirely horrible, but I'm gonna go off based on how they felt today. So I understand I was playing like hot garbage. That's per usual. But I think today Kit felt absolutely the worst. I mean, I didn't even have the cheeseburger, but still he can heal so inconsistently. And uh, it's really only good with Rosa in Brawl Ball. So that's definitely number six, the worst one. At number five, I'm gonna put Gus just because he doesn't even heal that much unless you have that star power. But even then the heals are inconsistent, kind of like Kit in a way. So I'm gonna say Gus is not a very good healer, but he's a really fun brawler and I like him a lot. I'm putting Doug at number four, just because overall he's still not a very good brawler. Even after his buffs, he got some of the buffs reverted and now he's back to being like, okay to bad. That match, I did get insane healing but that's not gonna happen every game. Overall, he's a pretty trash brawler, so that's why I'm putting him at number four, which is still above two other supports. I'm putting Poco at number three just because of what happened today, because I decided to not play gem carry and only go for heals that match, and then we had a team who was literally negative aggro, so that was horrible. But overall, Poco's still probably a pretty good brawler, so I'll just keep him at number three. I'm putting Byron at number two. Part of me kind of wants to put him at number one, but I feel like I'll get a bunch of garbage in my comments about that. He actually felt great today, and I've been hearing around that he's actually becoming a good brawler again after his recent buffs that's why i want to put byron high on this list he felt so good today that match was really fun now this is probably way off of the actual meta but i'm putting pam at number one for what felt the absolute best today pam sometimes can be unstoppable with the mythic gear and the full heal build 
she kind of just doesn't die. So that's why I'm putting her at number one. She's always been a super well-rounded brawler. And I'm actually kind of scared for what her hypercharge is going to be. I feel like that might break her. And let me give some honorable mentions so then people can have their brawlers mentioned. Gene, he can heal with his star power. Besides that, he's not a healer. Also, there is Sandy who can heal with his star power and his gadget. Besides that, though, he's not a healer. This video is mainly about brawlers whose base kit can heal, not these guys. And if I somehow missed a brawler, then don't forget to spam my comment section. With that being said, though, I'll see you later. Have a good night, guys.